Marguerite Thomas Williams is a pioneering black female geologist. She was the first African American woman to earn a doctoral degree in geology. She was born in 1895 in Washington, D.C. She had a keen interest in the natural world, a curiosity that would define her career. She went to the Normal School for Colored Girls, now part of the University of the District of Columbia, where she completed a two year teacher training program in 1916. Next, she went to Howard University on a scholarship, where she graduated with a Bachelor of Arts degree in 1923. While there, she was mentored by the renowned African-American biologist Ernest Everett Just. Despite being highly qualified, Just chose another promising student, Roger Arliner Young, for a position at Howard. Fortunately, this did not deter Williams, and her passion for geology continued to fuel her ambitions. After her undergraduate studies, Marguerite returned to what had become Minor Teachers College, where she initially taught geography. Here she also served as the chair of the Division of Geography from 1923 to 1933. In 1930, she earned a master's degree in geology from Columbia University. However, it was her Ph.D. from the Catholic University of America in 1942 that cemented her place in history. Her dissertation titled The History of Erosion in the Anacostia Drainage Basin was groundbreaking. In it, Williams meticulously analyzed how human activities, particularly deforestation and agriculture, contributed to significant erosion in the Anacostia River Basin. This work was among the earliest in the U.S. to highlight human impact on natural landscapes, showcasing her as a pioneer in understanding anthropogenic environmental changes. Post her Ph.D., Marguerite was promoted to full professor at Minor Teachers College, continuing her legacy in education. Williams retired in 1955 but passed away in 1991. 